track wrestling here in Tornado, Slovakia. A couple minutes after the 74 kilo gold medal match with Virginia Tech assistant Jared Freyer, Makai Lewis. <laughs> Third freestyle tournament of his life is a junior world champion. How do you explain that? Uh, just He's just a sponge and, and a kid that, that's a winner. He's a winner. Once he figured out the freestyle is the same, same thing he's been doing his whole life. Um, there's not many people that stop him. And obviously uh, today was a was a huge moment for him. And uh, super grateful to have a kid like that in, in our wrestling room. What has this project been like to take him from where he was at the end of his first college season to where he is now? I think just you know just add little things. I mean he's 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 obviously an amazing athlete, amazing kid, a grateful kid that just works his tail off and um, really has no highs or lows. He keeps an even keel and um, you know his dedication is is what we what we're what we want in our in our athletes. And, um, just tweaking little things, adding a short little trick here and there. Um, but you saw what he what he can do out there. I mean he's his his reattacks and. Um, his defense and his pride and not giving up points is, is what makes him great. And now he's world champion and in uh, his third freestyle tournament, which is, which is unbelievable. What did you think coming into this week? I mean, first time overseas, wrestling, that European feel for the first time. What were your expectations? Well, you know, really telling him that not to worry about what these other guys are going to do. Um, he hasn't got that feel too much, but but wrestling with myself and Frank and guys like McFadden um, and guys at the training center, I mean, he's seeing these feels. He's he's seeing the effects of guys like like Burroughs and I mean those those type of athletes that if you have pride and and, and be, being stingy and, and wrestling every point, um, he can go with anybody. So. Knowing that he can score on anything that he does is, is a huge advantage for him, and um, he, he was ready to go. He, he, he put in a strong, strong summer. Probably going to take a little break now, but uh, man, he's a world champion, and, and it's, it's all worth it. Scored half his points in the semis on leg laces. Yeah, yeah, no, just putting, just literally in the, in the last probably six months, he's really paid a hard attention to that, that position because he ends up there all the time with great leg attacks. and. Uh, yeah, he, he's uh, he's getting really good in that position, and he almost got that guy tonight. So um, he, he tweaks a couple more things, and there's going to be not many people going to stop that lace. Well, like I said, third third freestyle tournament of, of his life, and, and you go back to April and what he I can't even remember what he placed in in Vegas. His fifth. Okay. Yep. Uh, what were things coming out of that that you learned about him and, and immediately went to work on? Yeah, nothing changed. You know, the guy that that won the tournament, he uh, he was beaten. He was beaten eight to one, I believe, and, and just kind of lost lost track in his head and, and started thinking too much about freestyle. And it's, and it's really not this 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 sport is is really evolving into almost the same thing. You know, two point takedowns, being able to scramble, just wrestling every position. If if, if anything, it teaches you to be a better folk style wrestler. So. Uh, we just, you know, kind of telling him to turn his mind off. Just wrestle, do what he does. Um, I'm focused on that, what he's, he's done since he's five years old, and uh, things will turn around quickly. And, and you know, we, we, we got some great wins at the, at the trials, so he uh, he figured things out on his own and um, and made made those corrections and, and was able to do some work in that second tournament. He said yesterday the, the reason he wasn't wrestling freestyle before is because he didn't like it. And he said, I still don't really like it. Maybe it's like, like a six out of ten. <laughs> I think if you see that emotion tonight, I think that, that, that jumped, the meter jumped a little bit. So, um, yeah, he's, he's excited about representing his country. He's excited about representing his, his last name. Um, his dad told him to come over here and represent that, that strong last name on your back as well as the US of A. And um, he did that, and, and he's a champ. Was it tough getting him involved in it? In the no, spring? not at all. He knew yeah. he knew what he signed up for. Um, you know, we in Blacksburg. You know, we're gonna, we're going to wrestle year round, and and freestyle wrestling is a big part of that. So um, he's only getting better from it, and uh, this this opportunity is going to be huge come uh, the third week of March. Finals match, uh, incredible takedown to begin with, uh, but maybe the the moment that defined the match, tipping point. He's Getting pushed out getting of bounds. Getting pushed out of bounds. And his strong up in body the lock where he's not too comfortable, but just knowing where the edge was, um, knowing how we've worked that position, Frank and, and myself and, and all the coaches have worked that, that edge position with that underhook time and time again, and sure enough, it paid off. He got off that edge quick and pretty much just shoved that guy down. And uh, that guy didn't take it too lightly with a little uppercut at the end. But, uh, you know, a huge win. It's, it's, it's pride. He's, he's a prideful kid and doesn't like to give up anything. What, uh, can, can you give us an idea of what the training has looked like for him? I mean, like, is it edge of the mat stuff? Is it parterre? Is it... A lot, of, a lot of that. A lot of just, just the, the logistics part of freestyle, you know, being able to defend if you're taken down. He doesn't get taken down much, so, so for him to, if he, if he is 
on bottom and Parterre, he's got to know how to how to defend. Um, so a lot of the edge edge work, and then and then just you know being able to wrestle, wrestle the way he does, and, and with guys like Walls, uh, Molinero, McFadden, all these guys getting ready for international competitions, Graf. Um, we kind of know those positions well, and he can pick our brains, and, and the practice has been great because they're all getting ready for some type of competition. So um, Southeast Regional Training Center has a, has a pretty great great thing going, and uh, we just want to continue to build, build from there. Well, what kind of growth did you see from the moment he stepped on campus until the end of his first season with you guys? Well, you know, not just on the rest of Matt. I mean, the rest of Matt's obvious. He's, he's, he's getting better every day. He's a sponge. He's still green with a lot of wrestling to, to learn from here. Um, but just as a man, I mean, he, he came on campus without a without an identification card, without a credit card, without a bank account. Um, so building on that and, and you know, he's a, he's a three, six, three, six student and, uh, you know, he's just, he's just, he's a, he's a great kid and he's, he's maturing every day. So fired up for him. Couldn't be